European Rugby Champions Cup action this weekend and the Ospreys welcome Bordeaux to the Liberty Stadium on Saturday. Join us now to look ahead to the game with Josh Matavesi and Tom Haberfield. Tom, you've been heavily involved in some games in recent weeks, uh, making a good impression. I bet you're enjoying yourself out there. Yeah, it's, you know, it's nice for me, the coaches are you know, trusting me to, to put me on the pitch and um, you know, I'm getting a good 25 minutes, half hour, so it's, you know, it's enough time we can try and show what we can do. So I'm, you know, I'm happy the coaches are giving me that uh, confidence. On Sunday at Italy, you had a rare full 80 minutes. It's the first in probably a long, long time in an Osprey shirt. Scrum half, moved onto the wing in the closing stages and played a, a, an important role in what was a big win for us in the Pro 12. Yeah, I, think, I, I can't remember my last 80 minutes, to be honest with you. Um, but you know, it's nice to be out there with the boys, doing my part for, for this team. And um, yeah, I'm really grateful for that. And you know, anyway, on the pitch, as long as I'm on there, I'm happy. And you and Sam, you played together on the weekend, and you've been coming off the bench together in recent weeks as well. It's quite a partnership you're building. Yeah, I think you know this season we are with, well at the end of last season and this season we drilled pretty well. Um, you know I'm enjoying playing with Sam. He's a you know a great player, full of confidence, and I think it does bring my game on. So you know, I'm really happy to play with him. And we look to Europe now. Back-to-back -back games against Bordeaux and get much bigger than that. It's a tough challenge, but if you go back two or three years, maybe even longer. When you were thrown on last minute against Leicester Tigers on the wing and you make a European debut, you'll take those things in your stride, I bet. Yes, you know, some great memories playing in, a, in big European tournaments and, um, you know, it's going to be a really exciting one back to back. Hopefully, if I get selected these next two weeks, it's going to be, you know, a really big game. So, you know, it's something everyone wants to play in and I'd be really grateful if I can uh, get selected in the team. And we put ourselves in a good position after the first two games, a you know, win against Exeter, then that incredible game out in Clermont, two tries with 80 seconds left on the clock, yeah. one from yourself running further than I've ever seen you run before. Yeah. So you're playing no small part in a push to do what we haven't done in Europe for a few years as well. Yeah, I just hope we're getting my chance, like I said, to do my part for the team. Um, it's, it's a team performance, that's all we need and uh, you know, I'll be really excited if I get a chance to get on the pitch, so it'll be something to look forward to. And the big, big games come thick and fast. With Bordeaux, then the Welsh derbies against Dragons and Scarlets, Leinster, then we're back into European action for rounds five and six, so there's there's no let up. Yeah, we got, you know, big few weeks coming up. You can't afford any any let ups now in, in Europe or the league, I suppose. We need to climb our way back up the table and you know it's gonna be a good period for us over Christmas to put some points on the board and hopefully creep up that table and get back in the playoff place. So about momentum, consistency and preparation over the coming weeks. So is that what we need? That's what the coaches and Nala Winner spoke about. We need that momentum to kick us on forward and you know, it's going to be an exciting time and a, a difficult time but I think we've got a team that are strong enough to do it. As you know, the Ospreys take on Bordeaux at the Liberty Stadium this Saturday and to help celebrate the festive season, Father Christmas himself will be attending the game and spending some time in the ho-ho-ho zone before the match. He'll be giving all the good boys and girls a free Osprey Santa hat, so make sure you pop along to the ho-ho-ho zone which opens from 3.15pm. Lloyd Ashley, Sam Davis, Alan Wynne jones Josh Matavesi and Justin Tipperick will be in the club shop on Monday the 14th of December from 4.30pm to 5.30pm. Come on down and meet the players and pick up your free Ospreys Christmas card to get it signed by the players for your loved ones to make their Christmas extra special this year. Josh, European Champions Cup this weekend. Yep. Bordeaux at the Liberty Stadium, the first leg of the double header, all to play for. Yeah, excited. Um, it's nice to get away from the Pro Tile for a bit and uh, focus back on Europe where we uh, left off quite well with Clermont. So, um, no, excited to be playing against Bordeaux. What are your thoughts on the first two legs that we've had? Obviously, the win against Exeter where you wore yourself out with a run of the, a run of the field. Yeah. And then a different type of game out in Clermont, but it's put us in a decent position. Yeah, no, it's, it's real. real um, well, great to get those two points out in Clermont. Um, not many teams go there and uh, even get a point out there. So I've been out there rushing and uh, got thumped. So 
for us now. We've got to kick on now and try and get the four points. Maybe the five, you know, this week and then another four next week. So it's a lot, of, you know, a lot of pressure. But then also there's not a lot of pressure on us because, uh, you know, people have written us off. So we're just going about our business quite nicely. What kind of challenge are you expecting from Bordeaux? Physical one. A very big, very big group of people, and um, you know they're not afraid to chuck it about. So you know we've got to stay on our toes. Expect the unexpected, really, and. Um, you know, just you know, just worry about our game plan as well. Being part of a group that's perhaps turned around form over the last month, six weeks, you know, a disappointing start when you were away at the World Cup, the team struggled a little bit. Didn't kick back in immediately, but now we're going on a bit of a run and some wins behind us. Yeah, you know, it's obviously it's a bit difficult, you know, when you're away at the World Cup, you can't really, you know, a bit helpless back here, so nice to get back into the swing of things and uh, get back playing and, you know, get a rhythm going and, um, you know, strike up the uh, partnerships with Biggs and Spratty and Ben John. You know, it's important. So um, now that we're into it, and uh, we're, you know, we're going good. I know as players, you won't want to look too far down the line, but it's Bordeaux back to back, Scarlets away, Dragons home, Leinster home. It's a massive run of games because then you're back into rounds five and six of Europe. So it's huge, really, that we keep the momentum going. Yeah, you know, it's a big block of games, but um, you know, getting that five points out in Zebra, you know, definitely starts the ball rolling, and hopefully, it's a big snowball effect and. Uh, just keep carrying on with confidence. I want the crowds to be coming along with us. That'd be nice for Christmas. <laughs>